My name is Funke Bella, aka Mrs. Fabulous, aka Fabulous Funky, one and only wife of MC Tunde Bella. Welcome to my kitchen. If this is your first time here, welcome! <laughs> and if you're a returning subscriber, a returning customer, a returning friend, sister, bro, thanks. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming back. Thank you. Right, so check me out from head to toe. Check me out. I've got on one of my Ankara jumpsuits made by, guess who? My Fruitful Fingers. I'll, I'll link her in the description box. If you don't know who My Fruitful Fingers is by now, wake up wakey wakey anyway my fruitful fingers she made this beautiful jumpsuit i've got a couple of them ankara jumpsuits made by my fruitful fingers so if you want her to make you one just hook her up she'll she'll hook you up <laughs> anyway jumpsuit aside today ladies and gentlemen i say today ladies and gentlemen we are making a for a legacy with pounded yam i'm gonna split this video up into two part a is going to be a for a legacy and part b is the pounded yam and i mean pounded yam look i've got the yam we're not using pounder today yes yes i will show you how i will do that so if you're watching part a make sure you go on and watch part b part a is the a for a legacy so I'm going to make the foil legacy now over here and then I'll, I'll show you how I make the pounded yam in a bit. Okay, so to make our foil legacy today, we're going to be using spinach. I've got spinach in this bowl here and I like to cook a foil legacy with spinach. If you like other vegetables, please feel free to use them. And I actually like to use frozen spinach. So this is frozen spinach that I've cut that I've cut up into like chopped spinach. I don't like the size of chopped spinach and leafy spinach is a little bit too leafy for me. So I chop my uh, frozen leafy spinach up myself. So like this. Okay, and then I get this this spinach. So also we're going to for our F4 legacy because it's F4, F4 meaning spinach. And egusi and this is melon seeds so this is ground melon seeds and they normally look like this when they dry and then you grind them to this kind of consistency like that look anyway moving on we also have orishi rishi such as pomoshaki cow foods Bits and bobs of things that you can find as treasures in the middle of your foyer legacy. They're right there. And I have crayfish. You know I love crayfish. I have whole crayfish and I have ground crayfish. And I also have stockfish. And this is dried stockfish. If you don't know about the dried or smoked uh, stockfish video, I'll put a link. You can watch it later. Watch it after you finish watching this one. Also, we have iru. Iru is locust beans. There's no vegetable soup without iru end of discussion thank you very much goodbye <laughs> no don't goodbye come back and also we have some onions and we have seasoning and salt so let's do it oh for our pounded yam we have yam right here and i have pepper i've already blended it to say to speed up the process in this cup so that's just red bell peppers scotch butter peppers onions easy Okay, we're going to start to make our F4 a legacy now. And the first thing I'm going to add to my pot is palm oil. Palm oil goes in the pot. And in the palm oil, I'm going to add some onions. So once I fry the onions for a little bit, 
next thing I'm going to add is my peppers. I blended it earlier. So that goes in. Misha, Misha, Misha. So pepper is gone in now. This is gonna be really quick, really easy. Next goes my iru scotch uh new scotch bonnet. Iru locust beans. <laughs> I put some seasoning cubes in it. You don't have to put seasoning cubes. I choose to use it sometimes and not other times. So it's optional seasoning cubes. Salt a little bit. We're still cutting down on salt. So I put a little bit of salt. Give it a good stir like that. And put the lid on, let it cook for about 10 minutes. So now I'm going to add the dried stockfish. Give it a stir. I'm going to add the whole crayfish as well now. Stir that and leave it. Leave it to cook for about another five minutes. I want the stockfish to be really, really tender and the crayfish just to disappear into the pot as I like it. And while that is cooking, I'm going to make my egusi into a paste. Okay, so it's been a couple of minutes. I'll just have a quick look at the sauce. Okay. I'm happy with the progress. And next thing I'm going to add in the sauce now is my crayfish. So give it a good stir and then I'll add my um, bite-sized meat pieces. Stir that in. And leave that to simmer for about five five minutes or less just to give me enough time to make my egusi into a paste so this is the method i was brought up with i know there are, there are like a thousand methods of making a foil egusi but this is my method so uh so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put my egusi into a, a bowl or a plate like that put that aside and then I'm going to add water into the agusi in, in bits. So a bit at a time. And then I'll make it into a paste. So add your water a little bit at a time because you don't want it to be too runny. Well, I don't like it to be too runny. Okay, so once you've achieved your um, egusi paste, we're going to start to put the egusi into, into the sauce in like a, a little bowl portions. So have a look at the sauce. I will give it a stir, just to make sure we're happy. Okay, so now I've checked the sauce, it's doing well. I'm going to start to add my egusi to the sauce and then I'll just add it in little portions like this and I want the egusi to cook in egusi bowls in the sauce like that.
okay so now all the egusi is in the sauce in the pot i'm not going to stir it or anything i'll just leave the egusi there like that and then i'll leave the lid on and then leave it to cook because you want the egusi to cook all the way through and i'll leave it on low heat for about five minutes i'll check it after five minutes and then we'll see if the egusi is done in goes the f4 and a four legacy is ready so we'll leave that like that for about five minutes and then we'll see what happens in five okay so my egusi has been boiling for a couple of minutes and it's cooked now it's time to add the spinach which is the effort to make the effort a legacy so next thing i'm going to add i've checked my egusi and it's ready i have some lumps and some some have broken and that's the reality of a for legacy you keep some lumps and you lose some lumps lose some keep some so now we're going to add the effort the spinach Spinach gone in. I'll give it a good stir. I'm gonna put the lid on and leave it for about two to three minutes and then we're done actually maybe just two minutes and then we're done okay so it's been two minutes and our efo elegusi is ready and I am ready to eat it too <laughs> just have a quick look ah ooh la la check that out And the perfect swallow meal to eat a foie legacy is what? Pounded yam. That is exactly what I'm going to settle and eat this a foie legacy with. Ladies and gentlemen, we're done. Our a foie legacy and pounded yam made with real inyo pounded slash processed is now ready. This is the perfect delicacy to end a wonderful day. So if you like this video, please click the like button. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, do it now. <laughs> and if you've got something to say, please leave it in the comment section below. We'll be glad to read it. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye. I'm going to enjoy my food. Bye. Thank you. Bye.